All right, now I'm going to um, set up my truck, the, the one that's going to explode into pieces. Right now, when I when I shoot my truck right now, uh, this is a solid object. And when I shoot it, Pew! I do get some reaction, and it, it does go spinning off into infinity. Um, but what I really want to have happen is I want it to break into pieces and the pieces to scatter and fall on the ground. And so to make that happen, I'm going to have to go back to the, uh, my original model here. So... Um, original model here is a red truck export. I'm going to bring one of those out here and bring it into the scene. And I don't know why it's so small, but let's see. Red truck hole, I set it to a, uh, a scale of two in all axes. And... It's going to have to be bigger than that. Okay, well, I think I've matched the size-wise, pretty close match on the size for, for this. That up. I'm looking at it from the side. It's just a nice... So my, I've scaled up my model so that my model is the same size as the one it's going to replace. And um, I have to do a lot to this thing. Um, I, I'm going to select all of the objects that are inside of it. Oh, and before I do all that, let me make sure that I drag this, this one. Um, let me change the name of it too. Replacement. It's going to be the replacement object. On our red truck hole here, um, or rather, no. Where is. Yeah, red truck hole. Ah, this is the one that's supposed to have the breakable script on it. And in the breakable script, um, we need a replacement object. So that's what this object's going to be right here. It's going to be the replacement object. But I need to turn it into a prefab. So I'm going to drag it into the prefab folder and make it an original prefab. And then I'm going to select all of the individual objects. These are all the pieces that make up the replacement. Everything but the parent object. The parent object is just an empty game object. All the pieces on the inside, though, those are all the parts that make up the truck. And I'm going to select all those parts. And I'm going to add a rigid body to all of them. I'm going to set the mass to 0.25, leave gravity checked, turn off angular drag, and set interpolation to interpolate. And I'm also going to add a mesh collider to all of those objects, making sure that I check them as convex. And that's going to have my replacement object all ready to go. I will need to apply all the overrides to the replacement object making sure there's no overrides on the replacement object, and then delete it from the hierarchy. Going back to my red truck hole, I'm going to drag the replacement and set it as the object that I want to replace when I shoot the red truck. Now let me see if this works. Pew! Quite spectacularly. It worked pretty spectacularly. So one thing I think I'm going to do here on my um, plane 
not my plane, my noisy cricket. On my noisy cricket, I'm going to set my launch force down to like 10. And on the red truck hull, I'm going to set the collision multiplier to like 25. Just bring those numbers down significantly. I don't want quite an explosive explosion. Pew! There we go. A little bit better. So I might play with these numbers a little bit here. You know, uh, my red truck hull, let me see what it looks like with a collision multiplier of 50. So what does the effect look like? Pew! Yeah, things get knocked around. Let me try it. Launch force of 20. All these physics Pew. reactions cause interesting stuff to happen. Yeah, pretty happy with that. So you should be able now to shoot your vehicle and see it break up into a whole bunch of pieces. And that's going to be a wrap on that.